I'll start off by mentioning that a good friend of mine is Ralph Martini, and uh, he's actually German, but he builds rifles on the English pattern, and Heim knew this about Ralph, and anyway, there was a lot of communication and between and amongst all these parties and players, but the net result was what's called the Heim SR21 Super Classic. I'm not sure if it's available still, but the concept is great. Instead of having to go and buy a Mauser-based Holland & Holland rifle with a perfect stock, Heim decided they would offer a perfect British stock, which is unlike any other. Once you've fired one of these, once you've handled one of these, in a way you won't want to go back to any other rifle. They're just so perfect. It didn't, the English were working for 150 years and it was for a reason. This is the Heim SR21 Super Classic. It's, of course it's a bolt action and all bolt actions are based on, on the Mauser in many ways. But I think Heim has taken the best features. I'm just waiting for the, for the pan of the camera to complete. And um, so what are the advantages? Well, first off, we'll, we'll go to the historical part of this firearm. There's no Monte Carlo comb. I'm gonna show you the difference between a classic British express rifle and a typical California style Weatherby stock, which is on the table, but again, I, I have to respect the the camera work, but here's 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 the comb. You can shoot this rifle comfortably, like extremely comfortably, with iron sights. The iron sights are not screwed on to the barrel as an afterthought. These iron sights are on an island. The island is um, a, a barrel band I, island rear sight, so this is never going to fall off. The sling swivel is on a barrel band and the front sight is on a barrel band. Now, I wish that they had put some, some lines here or some etching or something to prevent glare, but for some reason they didn't. The English did that and it, it sounds like nothing, but when you're in the African sun or any sun, you get a glare off here and that can affect the bead. Anyhow, getting back to the rear sight, uh, you've got leaves for different distances. So the first one is for 100 meters and then the second one is for 200 meters and depending on the trajectory of the cartridge you're using, uh, the 200 meter one may give you a point blank range of 300 or even 400 yards. And um, this is an 8x68S which is a fantastic caliber that you don't hear about too much but 8x68 is flat shooting. A lot of people compare it to the 338, but I like the sectional density. 8mm is less than 338, and I'm crossing over between millimeters and inches, but it, it doesn't matter. And you can look all this stuff off, uh, up, and, and, and many of you correct me with, with small things, and that's a good thing. This one has tally bases, so obviously tally rings, which can be quick detachable. Here's a nice feature that you don't get on a Mauser. The bolt lift is minimal and the bolt is absolutely smooth. It's, it's, it's uh, incredibly well designed. The bolt release is in the Mauser position or location, push it and you can see three locking lugs. And the three locking lugs um, facilitate the um, minimal bolt lift, whatever it is, 60 degrees. And you can tell by the operation that it's very smooth. And the safety works as it should. The trigger, some people study triggers, absolutely, as everybody says, like breaking a glass rod. And here's a feature that some African hunters would say is a disadvantage. I disagree with them. This magazine is quite securely locked, but you can always have an extra magazine in your pocket. And you've probably heard me say before, when people buy a rifle with a removable magazine, one of the first things you hear from them is, 
I need to get a second magazine, which means probably psychologically they're preparing themselves for the loss of a magazine, which is oh, which is uh, a little bit funny. I have to make sure that this is lined up properly. So you can tell by that 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 is not um, effortless to reinsert. It's it's properly secure as it should be, and. Um, other than that, I've told you about the caliber. I've told you about the perfect stock. This is called Rigby styling um, checkering. It has a typical Packmeyer recoil pad. It has a beaded cheek piece. You would find all these features on Holland and Holland rifles. And as you probably know, I, I've owned a few Holland and Holland rifles. And this is a far more useful usable firearm. I like everything about it. Maybe the caliber is a little bit odd for the US, but um, 8x68 is fine. It's not that bad to get RWS ammo. And you can you can kind of see from what I'm telling you that this is a different dimension of, of rifle. This grip, the way everything's lined up, the, the ergonomics of this gun you know, there are people out there that are that have turned hunting into like a science project where they're calculating wind drift and their guns hit at like a thousand meters. That's a different program for hunting the way I think of hunting. You need this kind of rifle and you actually don't really need a scope. It's instinctive most of the time with these express sights, which are a shallow V. That means you put the bead which is like a ball at the in the bottom of the V and you fire and you I one time I went hunting I, I forget how many head of game I I harvested and it was um, it was all with an express rifle it wasn't this rifle it was with a Wesley Richards but anyway it was all instinctive shooting a lot of running shots a, a lot of stuff that that nobody would believe so you'd, you you kind of just keep it under your hat and and hope that other people learn by having their own stories which they can't really tell anybody else because nobody will believe them but anyway so i don't know if i'm making sense there so now i'll switch to the california style stock this is a golden eagle but it may as well be a weatherby or any of a number of companies that make this uh, monte carlo design and I'm not saying this is ugly, but it's kind of like a humpback and it's so that you get your, your cheek higher. It's comfortable. It's true because your scope is way up top and your scope probably weighs two pounds and you've got no sights on your barrel. So if your scope fails, then I guess you better have another scope mounted and sighted in. There are just a whole bunch of assumptions. This fore end goes way too far. There are rules in gun making. There are rules about the angle of the pistol grip, which is supposed to be, I'll show you on this gun. Like it's not as if you just go and make it a gun. This angle is supposed to be, well, like this gun. It, you get these flat ones, you get ones with big dips and hoops and all kinds of snakes and whatnot. And um, all it does is detract from the simple shooting experience which this gun has and I you can see where the forend finishes like we, we don't hold a rifle out here um, now full-length stocks are a different story and I can talk about those but this is the way a stock should be and it should be narrowing just in front of that rear sight and ending I'll switch now to this thing like why should we have a pound of wood or whatever that weighs maybe to put the sling swivel but shouldn't it just be on the barrel or anyway there are a whole bunch of solutions that don't involve this but having said all that um life is full of variables and no nobody in the end is particularly right or wrong but i do tend to believe people when they have a lot of experience and the british hunted they had an empire that was unmatched to this day they had India and, and uh, well, much of the, of the known world, let's say, at that time. And they came up with these designs, 
And I do like rifles that you can shoot instinctively. That you don't have to think about a scope and hold over and please get out my range finder and which way is the wind blowing. You're just hunting. And this, this gun does it all. High SR-21, beautiful rifle. The wood is excellent, but not too crazy, like not too fancy. You'll see guns out there where you, you would regret hunting with them. And I'll flip it around. This is not one of them. I wouldn't hesitate to go hunting with this rifle. And uh, in fact, I may be doing so in a couple of, a few days actually. That's, that's it, Heim SR-21, super classic. Ralph Martini design stock based on the Rigby Holland and Holland, eight by 68 caliber removable magazine. And then the Golden Eagle, which I only put on the table because it's like a Weatherby, has the sort of California influence. This one's in 30 out of six and um, floor plate, beautiful rifle. I've made videos on it before. I have no complaints about either one. But if somebody offers you one of these two, take this one. <laughs> you know, that's it. Thanks for watching.